and we're back. Um, sorry, some technical difficulties. Uh, I guess the app decided to crash while I was using it. So there's that. But anyways, continuing forward, um, I have, as I was saying, uh, we have a game object uh, collision box attached to the main character so that uh, it can detect if it's on the ground so it's okay to jump or not um, and to hit the coins to make them disappear and add to the counter as I've uh, as you've seen before um, we also uh, got some jump force stuff uh, this wasn't working last time, but thanks to Yurden, he fixed the bug, and the jump button actually works now. So, as you can see, we got, like, jump force, crouch speed, movement smoothing, air control. I could turn air control off, so you can't, like, go to, like, the side in the middle of the air. But I'll keep that on, because, come on, that's platformer rule number one, folks. Um, what's on the ground, etc. Rigid body, box collision, you know all this stuff. I don't want to recap too much. But I can show you what's inside of the code for a little bit, if my mouse can comply. My hands aren't too twitchy. Oh yeah, I added this little note here, so... Uh, oh wait, that's for something else. That's for when the player responds to the original point, as you can see right here. Um, to the jump is down here, as you can see, and the coin collision. So, whenever you pick up a coin, it'll destroy the object. Uh, it'll play the coin pickup uh, part of the code. Uh, it'll do the text, it'll add, you know, it'll add the score, it'll just say, pick up, pick up a coin in console, and we did this similarly to the jump, so it's like, um, <clears throat> whenever the player jumps, he just, uh, the console says, player has jumped, and I will show you the enemy AI. It's relatively simple. It's more of like a little test thing, uh, but we can always add more stuff to it. Uh, as you can see, you got like the speed, the transform to target, you know, the target is the player. And we can also change the speed if you want to. I could, I could show you if you want. Uh, it's hard to control everything with one hand. Let's do do the skater, for example. I just set everything to 5 just to keep it simple and easy to remember. So let's change that to maybe like 25 for now and see what will happen. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the, the paper boy moves a lot faster now, let's just say that. And don't worry, we can always change the AI later. I just want to do a little test so, you know, it's not like you're bumping into boxes or, like, mannequins, basically. They actually have character and depth, depth to them now. But I don't want to ramble on for too long. As you can see, we, just as a quick little rundown, of what we learned today. We fixed a bunch of the bugs, gave the character, gave the enemies some AI, uh, imported assets, changed up the level, uh, made it a lot more complex, cleaned up the code a little bit, etc, etc. Added the coin counter, added the coins, making them actual coins for once. And that is it for today. I hope I could see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.